Elizabeth with Countess of Low Carb and on this episode we're gonna make some chili coming up next. Hey it's Elizabeth with Countess of Low Carb and I am so excited to make chili on this episode. So if you like this episode, like it, click the like button. And if you consider subscribing, would love to see you every couple of days with new videos and consider sharing this video with any friends you may have who love the keto, low carb diet. So let's dive into the recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook my sausage and get that going. I don't like to put the um, sausage uncooked in the the crock pot it makes it, it don't do that i cook it up real fast and it's worth the quick time just to scoop it out get it nice and brown get it all brown before you put it in there um it tastes better and it'll marinate with the spices a little bit better while it's cooking in the crock pot so i'm just getting that all wrapped up while i'm getting this cooking because y'all know i am a multitasking mama with a two-year-old multiple businesses I'm gonna let this start to cook, get this cooking, and then in my crock pot, I'm gonna start getting my supplies organized so when this is done, I can just dump it into the crock pot. And you can do a couple of different things. Um, I'm gonna cook mine on low for, you can do eight hours to six hours. I'm gonna do mine on low at six hour mark and check the chicken to see if it's done because I'd like to have this as lunch if possible. So while that sausage is cooking, I'm gonna start getting my supplies ready. The first thing that I'm going to do is get my can dumped out. And I'm going to move this over here so y'all can see a little bit better. Woo! There we go. I'm going to get my 28 ounce can. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Part of my salsa you could do a hot salsa um, I'm just doing a mild and I just put in I gosh a half we'll save the rest of this for um, I do taco chips and you can see that on my taco recipe or I use those cheese um, wafers for chips at night um, as a nice little snack or a day snack and I dip them into my salsa so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken breast into there too. Again, I get the Aldi where this is the um, Kirkwood, where it doesn't, it's vegetarian fried chicken. It's cage-free chicken. To me, that's really important to get the cage-free chicken. And I'm just gonna, it's frozen. I exploded it. I'm just gonna dump this in there. And y'all know my style of cooking, which is messy. Messy, messy, messy. I'm gonna go wash my hands now that I've touched raw meat. Okay, so while my sausage is cooking, I put my chicken in there. I'm going to go ahead and add a third of a cup of my chili spice. I like a lot of chili. I like it to be a little zesty. I'm also going to add some Tabasco into mine. That is a lot of chili powder. Let me show y'all. So that is a lot of chili powder in there. There's the chicken below with the tomatoes. There's my sausage cooking. And I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic powder also into this recipe. Sausage is all done, and I'm going to go ahead and dump that into my crock pot. Okay, so I've set this for six minutes on low. Just going to let it kind of hang out for a bit. Okay, so I wanted to give you the net carb breakdown while this is cooking. So for me, this is my math. You do your math for your products. Again, I get most of my stuff from Aldi because I love them. This is not an Aldi sponsored video, so Aldi call me because I would love to sponsor you. <laughs> but um, at the end, I'm going to put some sour cream on top, which will be two net carbs, 
for my Aldi brand, it's um, two net carbs for two tablespoons, and I'll probably sprinkle some cheese, which will be one additional net carb. So three additional net carbs for this meal. It is super, super filling. I'm gonna add some butter in there just to up my fats a little bit. Obviously, if you're not doing a keto, keto diet with a higher fat, don't add the butter, but I like to add a little Kerrygold butter in there just to add some extra fats into it. But my math for the um, salsa and for the tomatoes, my math came out to be per serving, and I'm doing six servings of this. I may even be able to do eight servings of this. We'll see, but I'm just gonna go for six servings for now, and then I'll parcel it out at the end. My math is eight net carbs. Now, if I add the cheese and the um, sour cream at the end, it will be 11 net carbs. So then for the day, I do 20 net carbs. That's gonna have to balance out on the other end of not having, say, for the dinner, if I have that for lunch, then having a lighter dinner with less net carbs in it and just being aware and same thing for breakfast. For breakfast, typically on days like this, I'll have my Bulletproof coffee, which would be zero net carbs. So that's my math on it. I'll show you at the end as I parcel out everything so you can see um, how many servings it would be. My math came up to be 48 total net carbs, which six servings divided into that is eight net carbs. So I'll let you see at the very end when this is all done being all delicious. So here I got seven portions actually of the chili. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna add beans and to, for my husband and my son. Um, but I got seven portions, so that's gonna change the net carbs that I had for the recipe. I will put it below um, what the net carbs would be per serving, but it looks like it will now only be like um, six, six net carbs per serving. And then I'm gonna add on sour cream and add on also cheese on top.